All right, folks, it's time for another game, and this time it's actually a game I've been waiting for for some time. I can't remember where the hell I found Solarix. I don't know if it appeared in my RSS feed, or maybe I just randomly saw it on Steam, but the concept sounded pretty damn interesting. Let me go ahead and get rid of all this crud so I can actually show you at least the Steam page real quick. Here we go. Store page, just so you can get a feel for what this game is before we even jump in. Alright, so... Solarx is a science fiction stealth horror game featuring open-ended levels, both combative and stealth focus. Well, for both combative and stealth focused playstyles. If you read through this, you'll actually note a lot of different, or a lot of similarities, I should say, with System Shock 2, which is one of this game's, well, key inspirations. Anyway, instead of closing Steam, let's go ahead and open it. And let me go ahead and set myself to offline for now. I just did that earlier so I could reply to a chat message. And let's go ahead and get started. Not sure if this game's gonna be good, bad, or otherwise. We're gonna find out together. It's actually pretty darn cheap also for a new release. It was actually, it released the day, much to my surprise. I didn't even see a release date. And then it just said, hey, I'm out. I'm all, oh, okay. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I think it's only about $18 on Steam right now. Brought to you by Pulse Tense Games, and it throws us right into the action. Are you gonna freeze? What are you doing here? Alright, that was weird. No, <laughs> not a whole bunch of loading screens on this. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Uh, we'll do it on medium. Darkness is your friend. Avoid combat where possible. Man, that font looks a lot like Unreal Tournament 3, doesn't it? Probably is exactly the same font. your turn now. Amy's been calling for like 10 minutes. Let's see. Before we get started, do I have subtitles on this? Uh, game settings? No. Video settings? No. No subtitles? Well, that's a shame. Hmm. Can you folks hear all right in the, in the chat? Let's see what we got here. I can actually read that. It's a large company profile. Name? Walter Terrence, assigned indefinite status, or stasis, I should say. Male, biological age, 26, uh, UIQ, all right, 105.50, and HRC English, ing -L? probably ing something. Main class engineering, subclass electrical engineering, systems engineering. I think that's our profile right there. I'm not sure why we have it open on our bed, but we do. Use key to pick up objects. I think that is space. I've only done one, uh, custom command, which is C, so I can crouch more effectively, Unreal style. By default, it is left shift. Alright, what do we got here? An audio, audio log. 2166-1028-0001 UTC. Someone got sick. We can lean in this game just like System Shock 2, so might as well make use of it. The screen's a little shaky for me. Not sure if that's something worth my controls or because I'm actually streaming while I'm doing this. Alright, pick up objects with the use command, alright. Pretty standard stuff. I'll put them in the shower because why not? We're on the bed. Why not on the bed? Who even puts these right in the hallway? I mean, seriously. There you go. That's your problem to fix. There's a lot of death on here. I, I think I need to be concerned. But I'm not exactly sure why just yet. You can't 
trust machines. All you can trust is whatever's in your head, and you can trust in me. I see. I can trust you, are you sure? Also, my character's trembling as they <laughs> lean around corners. There's something moving over there, but I don't know what it is. Let's just power on through here. Solarix, I know what that is. That's this game. They have this game in this game. My goodness. Oh, there's a way down. I was all, I can't go through that door. It's only painted on. Let's see. Okay, I can't actually sprint with shift. Hmm, looks like a point of no return. Careful as we dismount here. Remain vigilant. There are almost certainly anomalies in the area. So I should probably not have my flashlight on. This game, as it indicated before, does have a strong stealth focus. I believe it has a, a splinter a splinter cell type stealth where the shadows are your friend. I mean that's what it said in the intro, right? Right enough, I can really see. I don't know if my gamma is too high or something. Can't go really over there. What the hell's that? Just some stuff. But we got some stuff over here too. Appears to be offline, but I should be able to fix that. I'm a ex uh, electrical engineer. Come on. Nope. Can't do anything with that else other than this poo smoke that's coming out of these now as far as the horror element is concerned the game tells me that it's supposed to be less about pop scares it's supposed to be more of that just crushing despair like you felt in system shock 2 I suppose So far, not a whole lot of action, though. Oh, what's that? There's a thing! Power generator. Power cell need to recharge power, okay. This area is very green. For reasons. Oh, hello! Who the hell is that? Oh, well, whoever he is, he didn't see me. Wonder if he's a friendly or not. Can't really tell. All I've met are dead people. Except for that guy. Alright, is there anything over here? I guess I have to... Nope, there's something here. What's this? Unlocked locker. There we go. Ah, another power cell. Pick it up. Thank you. Alright, I guess I'll take this back to the uh, last place I saw the power cell then. Not sure if I have stamina in this game or anything like that. Probably not. Are you saying there's hostiles? All right, that's good. The fact that you're bringing it up now means I probably should be concerned. Although I don't see anybody. Oh, is that somebody? Yeah, there's somebody. Uh oh. I have no means of defending myself, so. This is a previously mentioned anomaly. It is blocking your path to the elevator. You will have to sneak past it by crouching and staying out of its line of sight to reach the objective. Alright. Seems simple enough. Oh, you poor thing! Stop whimpering and come out to play! I'm out to play. Not whimpering. Well, this guy has given me plenty of time to get over here, I'll say that much. See ya, motherfucker! Now the big problem. 
right? Uh, how do I do that? Oh. Apparently you're not on this floor. You're not pounding on my elevator. Well, that's good. Let's see. Do you have what it takes? The Lark's engineering. Well, I have what it takes. Okay, so this whole floor is the crew quarters? Also, is there, like, a quick save button? I'd like to know that. Reload, sprint. No quick saves? <sighs> what is the world coming to? Although it has a load last save. Hmm. Whatever. I guess it just has checkpoints. What we got here? Another audio log. That's a marvel of Solaris engineering. New objectives. How do I look at my objectives? Is there a key for that? You gave me an objective. Do I have like a PDA like it's Doom? Doom 3? Hmm? Objectives. Are O? Well, that makes sense. Obtain hacking tool. The, do the doors are locked. I need to find a tool to hack through security protecting the door. Okay. Well, I'm sure it's just down the hallway here. Maybe it's that right there. How convenient! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Now, I think it was four to bring that up. Yep, there it is. Hmm. Am I a robot? Looks like I'm a robot. Or I have some weird hands. What do we got here? Elite Guards, Planet Ancrea's Finest. The modified hacking module can be used to bypass firewalls and security measures built into the facilities. To use this device, Close to the system in question and hold down the fire button. You will see the security on the door lesson until zero. Then press the interact key to open the door. Oh, the excitement. Okay. I thought it was just going to go in 1% intervals, but it looks like it does do a little better at times. There you go. I guess I got in there with controls. I thought I said the door itself. Oh, you poor thing. You I'm always a poor thing. Idea what's going on, do you? Nope. You're like a baby trapped in its crib. Go find a walkie-talkie so we can talk without Amy listening. She's got ears everywhere. What a creep. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Also, this locker is not openable. A damn shame. I'm not sure if it has too much amnesia there yet, Marte, but there's... I really can't say much. I don't think we're really into the main game yet. I think we're still in tutorial hell. Also, I probably don't need to crouch as much as I am. What is this? Can I interact with that? It's blue. It's glowing. I can't zap it. What's the point of having this hacking tool if I can't hack every random thing around here? See, creepy stalker girl. <laughs> Whatever you say. And I've exited. Shoot out the lights to create darkness. See, just like Spider's all there. The eyes have walls. That's right, General Magnet. <laughs> well, do we have any guns or anything? Psst. Psst. Hey, I left you a surprise in that container. It's time to have some fun. Those guards are lethal, but no, I'm lethal. They can't see what they can't see or hear. <laughs> Alright, well, I recognize this portion. This was actually from their, like, uh, your with a one moment. Meter, modified from a prototype rad counter. You can find this on the bottom left of your screen. When in darkness, it will be black, but when in lit areas, it will turn flashing white. Now that you are armed, you can create darkness by destroying light sources. This will allow you to sneak past Gregory Hart's forces. So monitor your visibility and avoid confrontation where possible. Will do, creep <laughs> creepy AI. Gotta have a creepy AI. We can't sneak past these guys, so we have to get a little creepy. 
breezy and creative, you know? See that mercenary on patrol? To distract him away from his patrol route, throw an object and he will go investigate it. Once his back is turned, you can sneak past him. Don't I just shoot him in the back of the head with a gun? Let's see, how do I actually verify one of these? Okay, it's just left click. Where the gun... Can I shoot that light there? Excellent. Sometimes there's unshootable lights in games like this. These games being stealth games. Okay. <laughs> Thought he was upset. Pick it up. Why can't you pick it up? Is it off limits? Am I too weak? Well, let's go ahead and get the box since he didn't hear the box. I have very limited ammo here, which you'd expect in this sort of game. Looks like we have some areas over here, too. I wonder what's over there. Anything I can climb on? Probably just drop down from there. I can't see jack shit. <laughs> and now I'm stuck. Alright, well I see only one guy and then, of course, one off in the distance. Go get it! Doesn't look as distracted as I'd like him to be. In fact, he looks more alert now. I'm going crazy. Yep, going crazy. Go get it! Nothing to worry about. I'm glad they don't get, you know, upset about the lights just mysteriously going out. So what's my objective here? There is no objective. Go ahead and drop that. What is this? I see just large gears sitting on the ground. I don't even know what that is. Well, the music certainly put me on edge. I'm just trying to find things I can do now. I guess I'm just su supposed to proceed through this area. I do have a map. I pressed M just out of uh, curiosity. It's not really that handy, though, I have to say. Hmm. Alright, that guy appears to have gone back to his regular pattern. Can I pick up this? What are these items I simply cannot pick up? And why are they glowing? What does it mean? There's another doofus. I wonder if I kill one of these guys, I can actually take their gun. Anything cool over here? No, it's just weird. I cannot effects. guarantee unlimited radio communication. An external force has scrambled the connection. Do not engage Gregory Hart's soldiers. They know they are dying. They are delirious and volatile. Yes, considerably. Now, who the hell is that? Alright, so maybe there are more than one AI now. Hmm. That certainly changes things, doesn't it? Alright, I got a lot of lights. That guy's on the other side of the universe, so I don't have to worry about him. Nothing here, nothing here. Ha. Huh. Maybe I just proceed this way? Give myself a little more darkness. I'm not sure where I'm going. Alright, well, that was a checkpoint we got through, so, so far, it's pretty easy. Of course, I have played a few stealth games in my day, so this is no big problem. And unlike Amnesia and all those other stupid games, I can actually look at, you know, my hostiles without going batshit. That's one of the best things about this game, right? Always got to me. Alright, there's another one on the other side there. What else we got? Okay. Another flashing case. What does it mean? Okay, I can pick up this. These things are clearly gonna explode if I shoot them. Is there anything I can open and maybe get some more ammo? That's what I'd like. I like ammo. Anything neat over here? No, just barrier boxes. Alright, well, let's go hack this. I think that's probably what they're gonna have me do. Yep. Do 
you work, little tool. Definitely a lot easier than the hacking in, like, System Shock 2, for sure. Or even the pipes in, like, Bioshock, for that matter. New objectives? Proceed to call on the outskirts. On the outskirts of this base is a path to the mine shaft. Any further beyond that is alien lands landscape. Unfamiliar. Not well mapped. Search mercenary quarters. Greg Hart's mercenaries must have the keys to the outskirts in one of these two buildings. One of the buildings can only be accessed by hand signatures. So can I chop off hands and, like, use it? I need to search the other building and the surrounding area to find something to help. Okay. Sounds neat. Alright. Well, he's not really a problem there. I don't think he can see me. There's no objects around the throw. Ah, I can almost hear that guy. Hmm. Well, you're sort of just sitting there, aren't you? Maybe I can just sneak around the side here? I know it's still a bit in the light. Someone get over here right now! Yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> I am fucked. <laughs> Clearly. Use ammo wisely. I kinda did. He sure feels like I'm a robot. All right, we get to go back to this. Well, that's good. Well, here's a box. I should bring this with me for later. One set down. Also, we were able to experiment and see where their view radius is. It's pretty big, actually. I was expecting them to be a bit blinder, but, you know, that's all actually all right. Can you pick? Okay, there you go. Maybe that's the problem. Let me try something real quick. Maybe I need to hold the button. Okay, yeah, I can't pick up things. Just sometimes I need to hold the button. Why don't I use one of these? This could be fun. There's that doofus. This could piss everyone off, but let's have a little fun. Uh, well, the case behind me that I just lifted up Like, I have no cue, actually, to open it. Like, I can't, like, use this on it, and I can't actually pick it up. Uh, I mean, I can't open it. I can definitely pick it up. Alright, well, at least it looks like Sam's not that big a deal. And this time he's moving. Well, that's good. Can you pick up the... Alright, one big complaint I have with this game already is sometimes I cannot pick up objects for undiscernible reasons. Like, I'm spacing the fuck out of this. There we go! Why well, was I able to pick it up there? Can I just not find a hold on it? Pick it up. You just did it. Do I need to stand up? Do I need to... Pick up? <sighs> fuck it. Go get it. The hell was that? What was that? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Go get it. It's one of the Mexican jumping boxes. Excellent. Damn it! Well, I had bullets once. Those were good times. <laughs> they have stalker voices? Kind of, actually. Oh, maybe it's already open. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, yes, that's the one that needs a handprint. Of course. How silly of me. This guy's walking right at me. Thankfully, even though they can see at a great radius, they can't see around. Or, they can't see in the dark too well. For whatever reason, we lost night vision in the future. It's, uh, interstellar marines all over again, right? Alright, is there anything over here other than this light that I can't do anything about? I wonder if I could throw things at lights and actually knock them out. We'll have to try that. 
look like there's anything over here. Let's see. Objective, you say I should look in there. Hit in the mine shaft. They must have keys to the outskirts. Okay. So I'm looking for keys. Apparently it's locked. She, the, uh, the AI told us this. I will hack these guys so fast. Oh, well, here's a vehicle. Can I just, like, tear ass in this? Almost looks like a scorpion, to be honest. The old UT scorpion, of course. I can't get in there. It is verboten. Yeah, this side is completely unguarded, it looks like. Oh, I'm visible. Is there anything over here, or is that the outskirts? Bet this is the outskirts. Hmm. Yep, outskirts access. Gotta insert a card. Okay, well we know where that is, at least. So I think we need to find a way into this building right here to make progress. Is there something behind here? Gotta tell you one thing the game hasn't done is reward my exploration too much. All I've seen is a lot of gray, uh, gray terrain, really. Gray and brown terrain. Not today, Thunder. Still no targets. Keep my eyes peeled, because I can't see anything out here. <laughs> the rain is actually corrosive. Well, apparently I am a robot, judging by my hand, so maybe it isn't good for me to be in it. And if I get hit by one of those lightning strikes, you can only imagine what's going to happen. Can I jump up this? <sighs> well, that was a sound. <gasps> huh. Well, if I'm a robot, I make people noises. Anybody over here? I'm going to take the low route just in case. Uh, looks like I'm alone. Hey! Is that a gun? What is that? A bone saw? Oh god, I do get to take their hands. Neat. <laughs> My greatest dreams have come true. I get to saw their hands. If they wanted me to listen to these audio logs, there sure is a lot of background noise covering up her voice. Is there any way for me to change that? I like, uh, sound effects volume? That might do it. I hope so. Okay, well clearly this is the man we need, right? You weren't supposed to see this. It's someone you know, isn't it? Is? it? But you don't remember his face. You don't remember his face because I cut it out of your brain. I see. And I should like you, huh? Also, his face has something on it. I think it's actually a hazmat mask. Alright, well, I got a hand. Thanks, friend, apparently. This music is two, is three spooky, five May. Alright, well, let's progress back. <laughs> 